A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, it is a time of civil war. Using fear and intimidation, the Empire seeks to impose a new order on the galaxy. But not the new order that the, uh, the shitty sequels. Uh, only the Rebel Alliance stands in the way of their evil plans. I think this new order is like the old new order from you know, the original series. Uh, not yet willing to confront the Empire directly, the Rebels are marshalling their forces in secrecy. Even now, a group of their prized Calamari cruisers is being intercepted by a squadron of Imperial Star Destroyers. Calamari, seriously, just because they look like fish. Admiral Akbar hate. Tell you. The rebel fleet is outnumbered, but they have a surprise. The X-Wing Starfighter. Totally unique, no one else has it. Brand new off the block. Even though it was in the Clone Wars. Or something similar to it. Star Destroyer Patrol near the planet Turkana. Got a couple of Star Destroyers here. So the sound effects are on, which is great, but the music is uh, copyright. So I think there's the MIDI files. If I can find those, I'll overlay it. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole bunch of Star Destroyers here. Uh, we've got one that was coming in at a weird angle. The rest of them are all going to the left. Aha, so we have a... Sir, our okay. TIE interceptors have located a rebel fleet orbiting the planet Torkana. Excellent. Prepare the attack. Move our Star Destroyers within range, and launch all TIE Fighter Squadrons. <laughs> How the mouth is moving. Once, sir. Alright, so these squadrons have got, um... I don't know if it's going to be like that in the game at first, but... They were made up of, um, either three TIE Fighters, or two TIE Fighters, and a single unique fighter in between, which is the Interceptor, I believe. Although a lot of these are just groups of three TIE Fighters. And that must be the Calamari Free right there. We are under attack by Imperial Star Destroyers. <laughs> Begin evasive maneuvers. Launch the X-Wing fighters. <gasps> That's me? I think. Yeah, look at him go. Aha, yeah, look, there's a TIE Bomber being escorted by TIE Fighters. They're slow and heavy. Got it. Follow me. Follow me. I can't shake him. I'm on him. Nice shot, Red 2. Hey, it's always Red 2 with a good shot. Wow, that was a pretty cool graphic. Oh my god, there's a giant plaque flying in space. Avoid it. Avoid it at all costs. And now it says collect a CD-ROM, but it's not actually that. It's um, the special edition version that I'm playing at the moment. And it's got the upgraded graphics as well, which hopefully I'll be able to show off. And I think these are just the credits, so we can skip that part. Welcome to the flagship independence. Yes, hello, weird robot lady. I'm Blader, obviously. In fact, if I didn't select that, can I deselect it? Uh, let me deselect. Here we go. So if I try to go in without registering... You must register. Look at how intimidating he is. He's going to shoot me. Alright, no worries. I'll, I'll go and select my profile. You must register. Oh, he caught me. I wasn't fast enough. You may proceed. You may proceed. Alright, so inside of the hangar, we have a bunch of different places. We've got the tech room, which is options, I think. We have down here the film room, where you can replay recordings. Uh, registering, I can go back out there and have that gun pointed in my face. Um, and up here is the actual stuff. We've got the pilot proving ground, which is where you train with the starfighters. Um, and you can practice maneuvering and all that and fly through gates. I'll probably do that later. Historical combat, where we can play through... Uh, previous missions 
uh, that we'll complete in the campaign, as well as some introductory starting missions as well. And New Tor, which I think is here, yeah, New Tor, where the actual campaign of the game uh, resides. So for now, the first episode, we're just going to go into historical combat. And we'll get there by shuttle. So hyperspace is a thing in the game, but you can't use it normally like how you would think. Um, hyperspace is literally a bot mission. It's probably the best way of describing it. But it is there. So in X-Wing mission number one, in this mission you will learn to adjust your power configuration system, target the enemy and destroy unarmed Imperial TIE fighters and stationary cargo ships. So you can see here, I've tried it a couple of times, um, I've only completed it once, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you more about how I'm playing as we get in. But let's enter the combat briefing. will drop into an Imperial training area in the Senex system. A variety of Imperial craft are in the area. Target the fighters first. <laughs> use it's your like a Chinese dog. sensors to quickly locate your enemy. Yes, I shall use those sensors as you babble. Use your combat multi-view display and targeting system to track the enemy. Vary your speed and configure your power system for highest impact. Red One will drop into an Imperial training area in the Senex system. And I think he's just repeating himself here. So here we've got our two doors. Usually the ones on the left take you backwards first. through the menus, and the ones on the right Use will take you forward. And so we'll go into enter mission. Let's leave the hidden Rebel Combat Training Facilities. And here we are, in space. So I can uh, move my craft around like this using the uh, joystick. So I should actually mention I'm using the uh, thing, <laughs> the Thrustmaster. Uh, I just got rid of the cockpit there. I can shoot using the main trigger. Make sure you don't get hit by that. Um, now I do want to target this guy. I can't remember what my targeting button is. Just gonna have to take one shots. Oh crap! It that almost hit me. Uh, no, don't close the S foils. Uh, let's use my. T All right, I'm just gonna slow things down a bit because I need to orient myself. Uh, so I'm using a Thrustmaster joystick, uh, the one meant for the PlayStation 4, but I've managed to configure it and use it on this very old uh, Star Wars X-wing game. Actually, while I'm doing that, while I'm explaining, I shall shoot my lasers into this. So, uh, as you can see, I've got a bunch of different uh, power systems. Uh, you, where you can see the E, L, and the S. That's my engine power, laser power, and shield power. And right now, they're all recharging at balanced rate. And um, they are depleting quite fast. Well, the lasers are depleting quite fast as I'm shooting like this. But if I stop firing and let go, you'll see that it should start recharging bit by bit. Nope, they are not recharging. What is going on here? This is really concerning. Okay, so I can adjust the balance. So I can deplete power from one system and put them into another. And I've mapped that to the hat stick on my joystick. So I'm going to up my laser power slightly at the expense of my engine power. And hopefully you'll see now that they start to recharge. Aha, perfect. So at this moment in time, they've only recharged to a singular, uh, that single red bar. And as they start overcharging now with the yellow dots, they'll actually sound a bit different and have more power. They sound a bit more... they have a bit more oomph to it. And I can also change the rate of fire by pressing the uh, triangle button on my joystick. And now I can fire two at a time. And I can press it again and I can fire four at once with a lot more of a delay in between. So I'll switch back to single fire. Um, and if I press the hat button in the opposite direction, which I've set up, I can actually adjust the shield recharge rate. And you can see that in the bottom left, the gauge. I've got equal shields on the front and the back, and I can redistribute that uh, by pressing the circle button. You can see the balance is uh, more towards the aft, which is the back, or more full strength forward. And um, the great thing is, I can shift power directly from the lasers into the shields so if i press the right hat button you can see now i've put a, bu a bit of my shield um sorry a bit of my laser power into my shields and they'll recharge a bit and that's a very good way of doing it because lasers recharge faster than shields do so you just charge up your lasers dump it into your shields and and let it recharge 
So actually, I'm going to uh, readjust my shield charge rate. I need to keep that at least at half, just so I can keep this overboost of my shields um, on my ship. Otherwise, if it was below that um, halfway bar, then um, I couldn't keep my outer ring, um, from what I can tell. And uh, yeah, the engine uh, power obviously will limit the amount of speed that I can have. And my throttle gauge will allow me to go between no throttle, a third of power, two thirds power, and three out of three full power. What I'm going to do now is double back. I'm just going to go upside down, head away from the target. Turn around and head back. There we go. Whoa, shit. That's a bit fast. I want to crash into it. Oh, I crashed into it. That was bad. That, that was terrible. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try that again. That's one less rebel. All right, let's try this again. Much better. All right. Now I can target him from a distance. And I've got my onboard computer, aka Stream Deck, to uh, give me all the other buttons at my fingertips, as opposed to my keyboard. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> okay, that's one way of taking him out. Fuck's sake. All right, come on. get these guys from a distance. It's literally stationary and not shooting back. Nope. All right, now as you're approaching this guy, uh, maybe you want to approach him at no power, so you can slowly decelerate. And here's where I'm going to adjust my lasers. I want max lasers and uh, put a bit more into shields. Let's also switch our firing rate. So we've got maximum power in the lasers. But all I'm going to do is just keep holding down the trigger and I should be good. I can pump a little bit of the lasers. In fact, we're at full so I might as well pump them into the shields. Readjust. No, not the X foils. Yep. And even pump a little bit more. Now they're recharging at the same rate that I'm firing at. Good. Eventually, this thing should go down. So probably speed up to that bit. There we go. Nice one. Oh, and I've got an R2 unit in the back, which I will show you by looking at the rearview mirror. Hello, R2. Say hello to everyone. All right, let's move on. So I've got my throttle, which will let me uh, go forwards and backwards. Now let's target these guys, but obviously we don't want to use up all of our lasers. Uh, let's pump a little bit of the shield back in. In fact, pop the lasers back to normal. Maybe just a little bit less than normal. Speed up, let's go two thirds of the throttle. Bleed these targets. This is very weird to pull the joystick. There we go. Get them. Uh, dial it back, dial it back, dial it back. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. No idea where the hell is behind me. You can see in the rearview mirror. It's not really a mirror, but a rearview sensor, I should say. Tell us where to. There it is, there it is. Gotcha. Oh. So, a thing about targets. Oh. When you're in a dogfight. I say quote unquote dogfight. This is like the slowest dogfight ever. Dude, come on. Alright, that's a situation where you should have been in a different firing mode. Probably two at a time is about right. And lead your target. And if the computer predicts a hit, it'll go green. Because it can actually calculate the one that you're targeting. And it'll tell you if you're about to hit or not. But yeah, let's uh, see who else we got. Some right below us there. There we go, let's pop it forwards. Lead our target. I might be a bit quiet because I'm a bit away from the microphone. I'll move a bit closer. Also, a lot of this debris looks like enemies as well. And that's the price you pay for having good graphics. Alright, let's get him. Gotta catch him with full speed. I don't really care too much about how fast I'm going. Whoa, okay, maybe I do now. Alright, so what I've done now is I've switched to external camera so I can find where the hell my target is a bit better. Ah, there you are. 
Unless I found it, I'll switch back. Since the cockpit is uh, blocking my view. This tie bomb's got quite a bit of armor. Nice. Oh, there's the other one right ahead of me. Let's target him. I mean, rather than me losing concentration, it's probably better if I put up on screen uh, in a text box or something how my controls work. Let me go back to third power. Let's go back to external view and we'll see who to target next. Oh, nice sights. Hmm. I'll probably best use this and then look around. There we go. All right. Let's go a bit forwards. Two thirds power. So the thing is, once we catch up to them, if we're going too fast, then as you'll have noticed, they keep avoiding me. Um, like right here. So what I need to do is match their... Once I'm really close, or close enough within firing distance, I need to match their speed. I can do that by pressing a certain button. And you can see down there it was saying you're trying to match speed with the target. Um, let's see here. There you are. Match your speed. And now I can just keep them at a set distance and then just try to line it up. There you go, he's giving me a nice easy target and I'm still missing somehow because I'm stupid. Yep. go. Fantastic. Now I believe they're the next lot, so let's pump all of our throttle to full power. And we'll see if we can lead them. Right, let's dial that back just a tad. Line it up. Might be decoys. boys. They're literally not even fighting back. Dude, you want to shoot him? You want to shoot him? Oh my god. <laughs> That was embarrassing. Pump a bit back into the shields. There we go. Charge out. Afterwards. Alright, let's target them lot. So we're trying to take out every single starfight, every single TIE fighter, I should say. And uh, all of those frigates. Or whatever those things are. Now, I believe I got a hit on that. I see a little flash. Get the hit. Oh, I'm getting his friend. Gotcha. Go next. Dude. Alright, match speed, match speed. There you go. Next slot. No, 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 I don't want to recharge the lasers at max rate. Uh, actually, behind me. Okay, now a maneuver I haven't even shown off yet is the spinning maneuver. Uh, actually, I've got to show it off in one sec. Lead the shot. Dude, come on. Almost there, there we go. Screw you, Tie Interceptor. Now, let's see where our next target is. There he is. Hey, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Whoa! Whoa! We got Mannequin Skywalker. If you're gonna tell. You know, the annoying little shit. Because we had Jake Lloyd, he was being bullied. He shouldn't have, that shouldn't have happened. It was still funny, though. Anyway, uh, let's move on to this guy. In my rear view, so turn around, stupid. There you go. Catch him. And then when I get close, match his speed. Lead the target. Hit. Almost there, almost there. And match him. There you go. This is about right. Except in the different orientation. That's where I should have changed my orientation like that. Would have made things better. Alright, I believe you're next. Oh shit, I'm actually taking a bit of damage. Put that a bit more forwards. And hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Don't crash, don't crash. Oh my god. Crashed. Right. Go right above. Look back. Now, there is no reverse in this game, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, before this thing blows up in my face, let's get away. Turn around. Go. Oh shit, is someone shooting at me? Shit! Who the hell's shooting at me? I wasn't expecting that on this mission. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be static. What's wrong with you, man? Gotcha! Uh, let's dial it back a bit. In fact, let's match your speed. I love matching speeds because then I just have to worry about shooting. Dude, dude, no, no, no. I'm gonna shoot you out of camera, out of the cockpit. How do you feel about that? Dude. Dude. Gotcha. That was cool. Prick. 
Oh, that's that's a command. Add insult to injury. Twat. All right, let's pump our shields up just a tad. Dude, why are my shields not going up? There we go. All right. Now, let's target. Oh shit! No, don't crash into him. Go brain. All right, yeah. There you are. All right, let's go catch him. Come on. Really annoying when they do that. Dude, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. No, no. I figured out that uh, switching the camera to external view helps me find him a bit faster. Oh, I think I got a hit on him then. Dude, dude, no, no, no. Where'd you go? God damn it. I think I'm going too fast. Let's... You fucking. Alright. No, his throttle is maximum. That's why it was matching me to that. Gotcha. Twat. Now, back to. I'll put the lasers there. Uh, now, where the hell is the target? Oh, this is the weird thing about being in space. If I was actually in space, I'd be dead in like 10 minutes. Couldn't even find my target. Dude, where the hell is that Corvette? I'm lost. I am lost and confused. There we go. Jesus. Looks like a random walk in three dimensions. Amazing. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's drop it down to no power. Shoot from a distance. Dude, dude, get away from that thing. Or it blows up in your face. Alright, that'll do it. Uh, let's switch firing modes. Nice. Sweet container. Hey, that was quick. Alright. So, I think we've just got the TIE Fighters left should be right ahead of us so let's go let's okay here's where i want to pump my lasers into my uh engines but you'll see that they're draining my overcharge now i'm gonna want to get that back soon yeah let's see if we can get an identification going here i think that's looks like there was a bit there let's whoa, whoa, whoa slow down slow down slow down what the hell is that these escape pods. Are they our escape pods? They look like ours, but I don't know. I'm shooting them anyway. Yeah, I destroyed a transport. Weren't really transporting anyone. And they're not showing up in my targeting computer. Alright, in situations like this, this is where I want to go to the mission briefing screen. Using the same holographic technology as the pilot's proving ground courses, the historical combat simulations were designed to quickly and efficiently train new starfighter pilot recruits in actual combat tactics. They are also used by experienced pilots to own their skills and develop new tactics. One incredible story is of what happened to a young recruit named Dev during his first run through the mates. Amazing. Next. Uh, though it was Dev's first time on the course, he impressively cleared the first six gates with ease, but then something unexpected happened. As Dev banked his X-Wing towards his next platform, he accidentally jumped into hyperspace, emerging in the middle of an Imperial training ground. <laughs> Thinking it was part of the course, Dev started firing at the stationary Imperial Starfighters. <laughs> no way. Concentrating completely on destroying the Empire's hardware, it was some time before he noticed the message from his R2 unit, indicating that he was in Imperial territory and should immediately hyperspace back to the Rebel Proving Ground. Shocked and somewhat shaken, Dev managed to return safely home. Your mission is to destroy all of the Imperial craft in the area within 15 minutes. Okay, so destroying those transport is what I'm supposed to be doing. So let's exit back in here. Slow that 
down. We can target him from a distance. Just about at the right distance to get both lasers hitting it. Nice. Alright. Who's next? Mission ends in one minute. Oh, one more. Now here's a situation where I want to switch to my proton torpedoes. Blow the shit out of it. And I think that's everything. But once you finish, all you got to do is hit H and go into hyperspace. Because I don't think there's any more enemies. you got to make sure that there's no obstacles in the way. And if you complete the mission, obviously there won't be any. And I believe... That should be a mission success. Now I did take longer than normal because I was trying to orient myself with the controls, but hopefully everything went well. Yep, complete the mission goals. TIE Fighter Groups Gamma, Delta, Alpha, Omega, Phi. Uh, Freighter Rao, Theta, Eta, Iota, and Zeta were destroyed. Fantastic. And spacecraft kills. I killed seven fighters, six bombers, five interceptors, three transports, two containers, one freighter. And uh, my lasers were a bit all over the place. 53% accurate. And I fired one proton torpedo. More on those in the next episode. But for now, we'll end it there. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more Star Wars X-Wing. And next time, we'll be going on to X-Wing mission number two. I'll leave you with that. Take care.